Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Poppin' It's D. About to react to this video. This is from The Voice for the People Reacts. This is CJ So Cool message from Royalty Baby Daddy, and he talks about birth certificate. I don't know what's going on. Y'all want me to get into this YouTube drama shit. <laughs> and I don't even, I don't know what's going on with her baby daddy or a birth certificate. I don't I don't know what's going on, but maybe this video will explain. But, you know, I see CJ and, and Royalty still doing their thing. I, I reacted to, like, a couple of their pranks back in the day. This was years ago. This was, like, in uh, 2016. So, that's crazy that they still uh, they still doing their thing. So, shout out to them. But, apparently, they had some drama. We'll, we'll see what's going on, y'all. Now, on my previous video where I interviewed Jamie, the quality wasn't good. So, I upgraded to a new software. My apologies. Moving forward, everything should be good. Now, a lot of supporters had questions. So, I just wanted to address as well as recap some things from my last interview. Now, everything that I'm saying in this video is all alleged, being that I was not there personally. This is information from Royalty's baby daddy, Jamie's mouth. Which Royalty oh did confirm in her video that this is her child's father to all three of her children. Now, the timestamp is pinned in the comments down below. So, if you want to skip yeah, ahead, you can. Let me do this real quick recap as well as put my commentary in the middle and answer some questions. Jamie met Royalty in high school at 14 years old. Royalty ended up getting pregnant at 14 and oh. Royalty's mom stepped in and paid for an abortion. Which this started the conflict between Jamie and Royalty's mom. He was upset that she did that and Royalty's mom was upset that Jamie got her daughter pregnant. So Jamie and Royalty's mom relationship was already rough from the beginning. Okay? They couldn't stand each other because of this situation and moving forward when Royalty got pregnant again at 15 Royalty's mom kicked her out and Royalty he ended up staying with Jamie, Jamie's mom, and Jamie's sister. Now, Jamie's mom was already having a rough time raising her own children. So when I Royalty came, about to be she looking had to take care of another time. child as well as another oh, child no, was away. She had to provide her with shelter, buy diapers, feed her, clothe her. Pretty much what she was doing for her own children, she was doing for Royalty. So Royalty mentioned in her video that Jamie's mom took her taxes. Well, Jamie is saying that that is false. The mom did claim Royalty and the child on her taxes, which in my opinion, I think she should have. If you're living in somebody house, house rent free they're right. feeding you they're clothing you they're taking care of your child giving them diapers and wipes and everything else i think she was entitled to claim you on her taxes i mean i could be wrong leave y'all comments down below but later on down the line jamie ended up getting locked up leaving royalty and the baby with his mom now i don't support people putting their hands on people because i've been through a situation like that but if i was royalty in that situation that would have been a perfect time to get out of that situation but then again this is all alleged and i really don't know what royalty's mindset was at the time but Jamie's mom ended up moving out of Vegas, so Jamie asked his friend for a favor, which the friend took them in. I feel like if Jamie didn't want to be a father, that was his opportunity to get rid of royalty. But that's in my opinion. Leave comments down below. Let me know what y'all thinking. Now, fast forward to Jamie getting out. Now, him and royalty continued to live their lives what for 12 happened? years. They ended up having two more children along the way. Now, what ended their relationship, and royalty has admitted in other videos that she cheated on Jamie with CJ. Jamie said oh. that he had his friend living with him for a couple of months. Now, during the time when the friend was living with him he ended up getting locked up now after he got locked up the friend sent his girlfriend to go pick up his things from the house during the time when the girlfriend was there royalty mom popped up because allegedly she wanted to see the kids she ended up seeing the girl in the house and started accusing him of cheating on royalty now before i started the story i said that royalty was already cheating on jamie with cj i felt like royalty jumping on a bandwagon with her mother claiming that oh yeah he is cheating i'm gonna leave him and she ended up moving back with her mother i felt like she did that because she was was looking for an opportunity to get out of the situation herself and that was the perfect situation what <laughs> and i did this video when i was in june and uh and i don't know why y'all thinking uh like, this video just popped up today like on some okie dog stuff no you can just get this video been out here since june on father's day My video always came to me on the purpose of it because it just came to that boiling point when I got fed up and I, you know what I mean? So I feel like this is the only way I can reach out to her since she's trying to ignore me and the private be feeling so this is the only way I feel like I can reach out to her. That's why I put that out. So I feel like, you feel me, I was just on the air already, you feel me, I already hit her up on one of the posts, you feel me? And when she posted my daughter, that's when I hit her up, I was like, I was like, yo, my daughter's getting bigger and bigger because I seen her chasing me like that talking about, oh, um, Yeah, you see, after my video, I was enjoying you. I don't know nothing about that video with him saying he loves you to his baby mama. Nothing like that. You see, I don't know nothing about that baby mama drama. You feel me? I put my video out in June. This video recently came out 
about what, like, what, like two, three, four weeks ago? Okay, so to answer this question, his video came out before Nike and CJ had that situation. His video had nothing to do with that. It came out in all this day, but I think what happened was during the whole situation with Royalty and Nike, everybody was posting up videos about Royalty and Nike going back and forth. I think his video happened to fall in the mix, and that's why I started getting so much buzz Her now Nike? instead of when he put it out back then. When Cordell, my kids, and CPS, out of everyone in the world, they got in contact with their father, their biological father. So how is that possible? Like, that's not even, that's not even, like, come on now, you got to think realistically. Like, come on now, how is that possible? How can I not be the father? All three of my kids got my last name. I mean, if I wasn't on the birth certificate, why they didn't give the kids her last name then? Royce, said that she was taking care of you, your sister, and your mother. If she just got stepped into the family, like, you know, she got kicked out around like 15 years old, something like that, and she started basically like, living with us and started getting up and going like, around like she's 16, 17. How in the hell can she be 16, 17 years old taking care of a whole family? My sister got kids and all, you feel me? Yeah, my mom been all that type of stuff, you feel me? My mom been through certain things in her life that, you feel me, she been, she been across a certain man like that that be on that type of shit. So other than that, she won't allow that. But that's straight false information, you feel me? Also, you see, I don't know if you've seen that video, but yeah, you feel me? Like she says, like, like when I met Cordell, like he didn't have nothing, you feel me? Oh, I think, I think, I think, like, that was when, um, I think, like, that's when his baby mama responded back and said, oh, oh, so I guess she's not used to like doing things or whatever before or whatever then like me like I, I, I think she gonna respond back and say she said uh she said what you say she said oh yeah like, like i met cordell like he didn't have nothing he moved in at my mom's house my, but bitch, you just said on this other video when you when you heard he had a job you left him sometimes I tell you she's a liar that's one thing i want you to meet is to go out there and see my kids face to face and and make them make that decision if they want to be with me or me or not This is not about Shirley and I, you feel me? Um, every time I talk to her, she always be having a flashback and talking about uh, the old me when I was 15 years old. And she's not talking about the new me, what's going on now. She's not talking about what I can do for my kids now. She's just talking about some old in the past stuff that does not make no type of sense. A lot of people are saying that you should tell CJ thank you. Do you feel like you should tell CJ thank you? I mean, he raised me on okay. I feel like... Um, hell to the Lord. I, <laughs> man, uh, I appreciate you for what you did as the man you are and did whatever you did for the kids, whatever you came through, whatever. But I feel like, why should I say thank you for it? Because I didn't ask for no favors. I, mean, I, didn't, I didn't ask for him to take care of my kids. I didn't ask for him to, to step up to be that type of man. You feel me? First off, he stepped up because he met Charlene. You feel me? Other than that, um, I, no, I don't feel like I should thank him for nothing, you feel me? Because uh, I never asked him to do it. Being as I'm taking care of my kids, you feel me? I've been doing that since, ever since my kids was younger, you feel me? I've been doing it. I was a young parent, but I mean, like, what, what do you expect, you feel me? What can you expect so much from a parent that's that's young, that in that age frame, and that's really don't got no other support? He's doing it by himself, you feel me? So other than that, I did. I done it, I'm still doing it, you feel me, other than that, uh, ain't nothing gonna stop now, you feel me, and uh, I feel like I don't owe that man no type of thank you, you feel me, because for what reason, because I didn't ask to do it. Right. I, myself, plain and simple. He got egghead, he go like... What the finally video followed, Doug? I don't even understand what this is trying to say. The finally video followed up to <laughs> He will be recording everything with Woods. Oh my god. Is, it, is this over? Is this the end of the video? Um I'm still confused. I still don't know what's going on. It sounds like uh, the baby daddy is speaking on them but why i don't is he not able to see his kids or what i don't get what's going on honestly i don't i don't care about these people's lives i'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it a thousand with y'all i don't care what's going on with these people's lives so you know y'all want me to get into the, these people business but i don't feel like i'm gonna be able to give you a proper uh, reaction a good one because i don't care <laughs> like you know the other videos i react to they funny so i'll laugh you know i'll be a little bit more 
you know, invested into, you know, what I'm currently watching. But this, like, I, ha I would have to keep up with their lives and what's going on. And I just don't, I just don't do that. I don't, I don't watch YouTube people's, you know, business and they drama. I don't keep up with any of this stuff. So, I don't even keep up with celebrity drama either. I unfollowed the Shay Room a long time ago. So, I don't even know what's happening with celebrities and their drama either. You know, I, I only will look at shit if y'all tell me. If it's like hella people requesting certain shit. But this, I don't, this is just not, this is not my lane. I'm sorry, y'all. Good luck to everybody involved. I hope they find peace and, you know, everybody gets along and they can be a big, happy, blended family. I don't, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about this video, though. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!